everyone, today we're going to do a New Year's Eve cake. It's going to be a spectacular four-tiered cake with uh, lots of gold, silver, and black all over it. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need, of course, four tiers of cake, and then we're also going to need some styrofoam wedges in between, which we'll talk about in a minute. Um, as far as the cakes, we need a six-inch cake, which I've just covered um, here in rolled fondant. It's three layers of cake, two layers of filling. Then we're going to need an 8-inch cake over here that's four layers of cake, three layers of filling. A 10-inch cake, which is just two layers of cake, one layer of filling. And then a 12-inch cake, four layers of cake, three layers of filling. Okay, so they're um, iced and buttercream already covered in rolled fondant. Have them placed on a wood board down here. This is an 18-inch board uh, covered in black florist foil. Now each of these cakes is um, on a cardboard cake circle underneath it before I covered it with a fondant. And um, the reason that I just covered this one uh, right now just before the camera started is because we actually have to, um, I have to emboss this with this, this is a Dresden tool. It's got a thicker end here and a thinner end here. It's a veining tool. And the top tier of the cake, what I want it to look like is I want this, the inside here to look like a clock. New Year's and then I was thinking here it'd be kind of cute um, things you think of for New Year's you think of black tie events so I thought I'd go ahead and make this one the side of the cake kind of look like a tuxedo shirt so for that what we need to do is just take this dresden tool the thinner end and just from the bottom up just make some lines okay just about like that. Doesn't have to go all the way around. It's this, this is just the front part of the shirt. We'll have a bow tie right here. Okay, so that's what you have to do that right after you cover the cake with fondant while the fondant is still soft. Uh, if you wait too long, it will, once you try to do this, um, your fondant will just kind of crack. I'll just go over it one more time and then I can go ahead and set that one aside with my other cakes. Okay, now in between each cake, to get the, there's all sorts of different ways to do the topsy-turvy design. One way is to actually cut your cake, all these cakes, at an angle and then ice it and then cover it with fondant. We're going to do a different version today. This one is that we just use um, styrofoam in between each tier um, of cake to make it look like it's kind of off. Okay, so it's actually a, probably the easiest version. If you haven't done one of these cakes, it's probably the easiest version for you to try because you don't do anything different. You don't have to carve the cakes at all. It's actually the styrofoam that creates the look. So I just have um, a couple of styrofoam discs here and um, it was actually like this and I cut it and then flipped it over. And now what I need to do is actually just take some hot glue and this could melt the styrofoam a little bit. So just, if you have a low temp one, it's actually better because it won't melt the styrofoam as much. You could also use royal icing if you prefer. I kind of like the hot glue just because it sticks quickly. Okay, the other thing you need to do is you need to place um, a cardboard cake circle on the bottom of the styrofoam. And I also place one on top. And I just need to cut it a little bit. See, it needs to be even with the styrofoam. So I just need to trim it off a little bit. So just take some scissors. You can either mark it with a pen or I'm just going to hold it up against there and cut it. Okay, and I'm going to have the white side up. 